What's going on guys? Welcome to this week's Tutorial Tuesday. This week we're going to be taking a look at how we can use split chains to record two tracks simultaneously on our Line 6 Pod HD 500X. This way we end up with one track that's like our wet track that has all of our effects and amp model applied to it. And then we also simultaneously record a second track that's just our dry guitar signal. This way we could take that dry guitar signal and we can manipulate it further in our DAW by throwing on other effects, VSTs, third-party plugins, and things like that. It's kind of a producer thing. Producers like to have that dry guitar signal as well, just so that there's more options for tones and tweaks and things. So let's get into it. So to do this, we're gonna utilize the split chain feature on the 500X. So pull up the preset that you wanna use. And the first thing to do, scroll over to your amp block and do this step regardless of whether you, you're using the amp model or not. Hit the move button, hit the right arrow key, and it'll make the amp jump up. And you'll also see a second amp lock be applied below. This is creating our split chain. Hit move to drop it. Then just go through each effect, hover over it, hit the move button, and then press whatever arrow key you need to to make it um, jump up onto this top line. So we wanna see all of our effects up along this top line here. Okay, so your screen should look something like this. All your effects and amp block should be on the top line. And then on the bottom, you should just have a blank amp block and no other effects. Then scroll over to the mixer block and just make sure that pan A is set all the way 100% left and pan B is set all the way 100% right. This is gonna make it so that your guitar signal ends up being split stereo left and right. And so you'll have one guitar signal that gets sent through the top line and this gets sent through the left output or channel one if you're using USB. And you'll also have your guitar signal get sent to the bottom line, which won't have any effects or anything on it. And that gets sent to the right output or channel two if you're using USB. I'm currently connected to my computer using the USB cable. So I just have to make sure that I have two audio tracks. The first audio track is gonna be collecting uh, audio from channel one. This is gonna be the left output on the 500X. And the second audio track is gonna be collecting the audio from channel two. This is the right audio output on the 500X. And I just have them recording simultaneously. I'm gonna hit record and I'm gonna record both of these tracks simultaneously. And then when I edit this video, I'm gonna have it so that you'll hear each track individually. So you can hear what each track is recording and you can hear how, it, how it's recording the wet and the dry together. You can do the same process with a real amp. All you have to do is just turn off the amp model or just completely get rid of it. Just make sure though that it's split and the same thing will work. Just make sure that the left output on the 500X goes to your amp and then the right output will go to like a DI box or an audio interface and then you could get that dry recording as well. A couple things to keep in mind, because we're using a split track with a hard left right pan, any effects you use in the top row, they're gonna have to be mono. It's just not really gonna work doing this stereo. And then the 500X doesn't have any kind of like built-in reamping functionality, at least as far as I know. Like with the HX Stomp or the Helix, uh, those you can actually send a dry guitar signal from a DAW to the device with the USB cable and you can route it through effects. So it act, those devices actually have like a built-in reamp feature. As far as I know, the 500X can't really do that. But certainly if you had a reamp box or an audio interface that had a reamp output on it, you could then send that dry guitar signal back into the 500X and you could re-record with different effects or you know with some different tweaks to your effects as well. All right, guys, there you go. That's how you can record a wet and dry guitar track simultaneously with your Line 6 Pod HD 500X. 
course, if you found this video helpful, hit that like button, subscribe, all those fun things, and I'll catch you guys in the next video. Until then, see you later.